What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. Latest chapter of Fairy Tale came out, and this one, uh, yeah, heavy on the story, no real action, but it gets me excited for next chapter. That's what it did. So we finished the story of Lucy and Brandish, their whole history involving their mothers. Aquarius comes out, and Aquarius straight bitched Brandish. I'm talking about smacking her, made her call a master, put her on all fours, and made her bark. If that ain't a boss, I don't know what else could be a boss in life. So after Aquarius did all that and set her straight, she was like, okay, so if Lucy's my master and I'm your master, by effects of property, you better do what she says from now on. So after saying that, Aquarius just drags him into the celestial dimension. Where first of all, they grow fishtails. I need my girls with legs. So immediately I'm like, oh, not as hot anymore, but let's get on with the story. So you see that Lucy's mom didn't actually kill Brandish's mom. In fact, Lucy's mom loved that girl. Not like love love, but like has a best friend. They were real cool. But like everything, Brandish's mom didn't get there in time. And Lucy's mom, Layla, had a, apparently a loyal cult follower, the people who loved her. So when she used her own life force to open up the gate so the time travel dragons could come through, she had to use her own life force because she was missing the Aquarius key, which eventually caused Layla to die. So while she was sick, a dude just stabbed Brandish's mom in the back, blaming her and everything. So that's what really happened. So now hopefully Brandish and Lucy will be best friends. And I got a feeling the dude who stabbed Brandish's mom in the back looks very familiar, probably in the Spriggan. So we might see Brandish betray those people and start murking everybody. But that wasn't even the best part to me. The best part was the last page you see. Happy drags not to end and you can see Aquarius was about to tell Lucy who the time travelers were. She was like one more thing and then Happy just busted. Natsu's all burned and beat and battered but that truth is about to explode. 400 years old. Can't wait for next chapter. Anyway let me get one thing clear. I don't hate Aquarius. I just don't think she's all that. That's all I was saying. Anyways, how'd you like this chapter? Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Open mouth kisses to all my subscribers. One condition though, you gotta come get this loving while it's hot.